First, though, a woman charged with DUI manslaughter is going on the defense. Her lawyer says the fatal crash was the victim's fault. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Suzanne Norris admitted to drinking before getting behind the wheel, but her lawyer argues the crash that killed the Brevard County mom was unavoidable. The victim's family says that simply is not true. News 6's James Barbero is in Brevard County speaking to both sides. Susanna, how does it feel to walk out of jail? You can speak to my lawyer. Susanna Norris's lawyer argues her car crash that killed a woman who was walking was unavoidable, even if Norris was drinking. Notwithstanding any alcohol consumption by Ms. Norris, given the fact that the decedent basically came out of nowhere in front of her vehicle, she could not have avoided the accident under any circumstances. That's my mother, and she was a good person. She was Passion good Lucas's person. family responds that the 37-year-old mother was not walking in front of Norris's car on Industry Road at 2 in the morning. There's been a narrative put out there that either Passion Lucas stepped out in front of the car voluntarily, like she was trying to do herself harm or maybe intoxicated. There's no evidence of that whatsoever. Coco police say Norris, known for her Port St. John horse ranch, Hidden Acres Rescue for Thoroughbreds, admitted she was drinking. Norris's lawyer argues that she's at most guilty of a DUI, but she's not criminally responsible for what happened to Lucas. My client did not cause or contribute to the death. It was just a situation where a pedestrian should not have been where the decedent was. You were drunk, you went off to the side, and you hit this person. If you're driving double the alcohol limit, you're completely inebriated at that point. Her lawyer is very well connected. He's using every avenue he can to get her away from this. Norris is out of jail on a $45,000 bond. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.